Now, to business, in the absence of any spare beds, Norman, I presume, will be sharing with Cyril? I'd rather share with a goat. A goat? Have you? Neither will I. I see. Celia, Megsy, would you be willing to share a bed? I'm not sharing anything with that vicious harpy. I'd rather share with Geraldine. She's our cow, and I'd rather share with an elephant. Thank you, Vincent, but you will not be required to share. <laughs> I don't have to share. I don't have to share. The rest of you, however, will have to come to some agreement. Never. 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 Never! I'm so sorry. <clears throat> I do beg your pardon. How are they managing? You must be exhausted. Do sit down. I'm making some tea. Sorry, I haven't got any biscuits. No one's got any biscuits. I have that. Are they all right up there? Are they sharing? Yes, they're sharing very nicely. Indeed. They came up with all the arrangements for themselves. That's a miracle. What did you... How on earth did you do it? I'm afraid that's classified information, Mrs Green. The army is very strict about such matters. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Tea! Can you believe it? I haven't even a plain old biscuit to offer you. I'm so sorry. Oh, you're not leaving us, are you? Certainly not. <sighs> Thank goodness. These children need me. Thing is, I can't afford to pay you at the moment, Do but... not concern yourself, Mrs Green. The army remunerates me, and I have arranged my own accommodation. Oh. <laughs> Good night, Mrs Green. Enjoy your tea. Thank you. 